and here is Castellanos out to right field. It's not a hit, but it should get the run home. Suzuki's under it, tagging from third. Is, oh, he dropped it. They're going to say it's an out, though. It was in the exchange. Harper goes to third. Castellanos continues to second. It used to be you had to take the ball out of your glove clean, but I guess that rules. I mean, he definitely caught it, and then he went to make the transfer, opened up his glove. Is, uh, yep. Up the middle. Turner can't get it. One run is in. Here comes Gomes to the plate. Jan across to score. Nick Madrigal, two run single, and the Cubs had the lead. So they get their ground ball, but Madrigal finds a hole in the middle of the diamond. It almost looked like Suarez started to reach for that ball and then said, wait a minute, that's a double play ball. Line drive, curling, and a fair ball into the corner. Morell's going to score. Here comes Madrigal around third. Nico will stop at second. It's a two run double, and it's now 4 1. Natives getting a little restless here in Philly. Nico Horner hits it in the corner. Welcome back, Nico. Roman, there goes the runner. That one hit out towards left center field. Long run. Half slides, makes the catch. Throw back towards first. Same. Wow, they almost got him. Holy cow, is that a good play by Ian Hat? Sosa goes all the way to second base, and Ian able to get to his feet so quickly after the sliding catch makes that awfully close at first base. Looks like no challenge will be coming. The 3 2. Swing and a miss struck him out. 3 2. Swing and a high fly ball drilled to center. Marsh back, back some more, and makes the catch. Suzuki will tag and score. Mastroboni moves up 90 feet. Cubs add a run. It's 5-1. And more good work at the plate from Jan Gomes. Chopped to the hole. It's short. Off the glove of Turner. In to score. Mastroboni. Morell racing for second. And the Cubs lead it 6-1. I mean, I don't think Trey Turner realistically had a play, but it. Line drive, rip, right field. Castellanos over his head. Morell around third, and he's in to score. They're sending Madrigal. No throw to the plate, and it is 8-1. And Nico Horner back and making his presence felt. A pair of two run doubles here tonight. Second two run double of the day. That is a beautiful play by Sosa. He scrambles to his feet, not in time. Please a look at that one. It looked like they may have gotten him. Eric Backus, the first base umpire, ruled safe. He looked at it for a little bit. And the Phillies will challenge it. What a play by Sosa. Yeah, he's out. Oh, yeah, by a lot. At the replay, the call's been overturned. The runner is out. It hasn't been a great inning defensively, but it's going to end on another. Sosa hits a big one hopper to short. Swanson to second, one over to first. That's a double play. Swanson to Horner to Mervis. Quickly, two down, nobody on. Arguably the best double play combination in Major League. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Trey Turner is gone. Chop to third, and Madrigal grabs it, steps on the bag. Six innings, one Ernie on three hits, four strikeouts. High fly ball, left field. Schwarber back, back some more near the wall. He runs out of room, and Morell has gone deep again. Home run number six, and the Cubs lead it 10-1. A towering fly ball that just got out to left field. This is number six already. I mean, they're like multivitamins for this kid. What a day. One, two from Birdie. Swing and a miss. That's what he did. And he strikes out Kyle Schwarber. 101 miles yeah. per hour. Uh, on the ground is short. This should do it. Dansby, Nico, and fittingly it ends in Nico Horner's glove. Cubs win. 10-1 the final. And for the Cubs, seventh consecutive win against the Phillies. And the first time they've done that in quite a while, and they put an end to a five-game losing streak.